It's MJ as you've never heard him before on this special edition of One on One with the Mod Rashad. Ready? How do you describe Michael Jordan? Champion, winner. To describe MJ. And a shot on Elo. One word would be greatness. I would describe Michael Jordan as the GOAT. Greatest of all time. Um, I would never say I was cutthroat. I was a competitor. A cutthroat sounds like I'm a villain. Oh, no, I'm, a, I'm not. I just, I'm a competitor to a point where if you're my opponent, I don't, if I knock you down, I'm not picking you up. A good competitor always evaluate his opponent. And you understand for what he really is, but you never, you never try to give him confidence. You try to take it at all times. And sometimes it's easier to take confidence as opposed, and sometimes it's harder. But mentally, I gotta find a way. And sometimes you have to trick yourself. And see if all that trash talking starts when it's zero, zero, instead of five, six point lead. That's where it starts. You have to look inside yourself and find the different types of challenges from game to game. <laughs> you know, I look at who I'm playing against, look at some of the things that now I can focus and pull out to, to get me ready for the game. Oh. That's how I got myself motivated, you know, and, but it wasn't the same every game. It was, you know, I have to, I had to trick myself. I had to, you know, more or less find a, a focus to, to go out and play at a certain level for whatever reason. Fiddles, is it knocked away by Michael Jordan? Who were some of the guys you enjoyed competing against, personally? All the best. I mean, you know, Bird, Magic, Patrick. Whoever was considered the elite player, doesn't matter. You know, I enjoyed playing against them because it, they pushed me as, an, as a basketball player. Jordan rules. <laughs> That's, is that what they call it? Yeah. They call it the Jordan rules. But it was more of a physical challenge or a mental hurdle? Which one would you say it was It was more? The both. physical? It or was, both? It, it was both. They like to junk up the game. They like to beat you down, hard fouls. If they played today, they'd be, you know, flagrant twos. <laughs> I was beat down because of the physicality of what was happening within the game, you know? And I didn't have it to compete with them. Michael Jordan went down and he is grimacing in pain. <laughs> That's when I really started to physically build my body up and gear myself up for that type of beating. Easy. From that year on, I got stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger because that became as important as anything else. Clyde Drexler, who's the best? Michael Jordan or Clyde Drexler? You know, that was kind of a conversation during that time. Well, it was the best two two guards at that time. I wanted people to know the difference between me and Clyde. It was always a comparison. Yes. And I, I didn't want it to be a comparison. I wanted it to be totally different. I wanted people to see that on the high stage. What about the last shot you ever took as a member of the Chicago Bulls? The last shot. What was that shot? Game oh. six. Jordan left side. I practice as if I'm playing a game. So when the moment comes in the game, it's not new to me. That's the beauty of the game of basketball. That's the reason why you practice. That's the effort. So when you get to that moment, you don't have to think. Instinctively, things happen, you know? And the mentality of your leader, starting with Phil, getting to me, getting to Scotty, and then to the rest of the team was, okay, let's find a way to stay up top. That means we gotta go this extra mile. You know, we gotta go a little harder. You know, we gotta go a little longer. You gotta really kill team. Send a message, send a sense of fear to whoever you're gonna come in that building. We don't mess around. When you come in, you're 10 points down. George. Oh yeah, where did he go? All those things, we were trying to send that message. Tell us about your rivalry with the Knicks. What that rivalry? Was, that, that rivalry, man, I'm telling you, boy, that was a real rivalry. Anybody that was trying to take something from us, that's a rivalry. Michael Jordan and Xavier McDaniel having words. Every game we play, we try to send a statement. You know, we're trying to make sure they don't gain anything on us. Get to the loose ball, but he's followed up Jordan with the recovery, and Jordan is fouled. It's like fighting your big brother or little brother. You know, you got to let them know who you are. You, this is where you belong. Jordan trying to shake oh, off oh. Starks. Oh, what a move by Jordan! It counts! I don't care where you think you think you are. <laughs> this is where you belong. Jordan! 
And every game was like that, proving ground. You know, trying to gain that extra edge. Was fear of failure a motivator? Uh, I, ne I, if, I never feared about my skills, you know, because I put in the work. <laughs> work ethic eliminates fear. Yes. You know, so if you put forth the, earth, the work, then what are you fearing? You know you, what you're capable of doing, what you're not. This, this whole thing about your, you practicing. And every day in practice was like that to me. It was a competition. So when the game comes, it's nothing that I haven't already practiced. It's a routine. You know, whatever happens in the game now, okay, I've done this before. Short for the win. Repeat the following after me and then fill in the blank. The greatest thing about the game of basketball is... The greatest thing about the game of basketball to me is uh, the passion and the love that I have for it. Because when you have love for anything, you'll go to the extreme to maintain that love. That's what love does. It loves drives you to do everything you need to to maintain that, that connection. If I didn't have the love for the game of basketball, all the things that I just panned out to you in my career would have never been achievable for me. But it was truly my love for the game that kept me pushing to be the best basketball player that I could be. To be the best at anything, you got to have a certain love for that to make you overcome all the obstacles that's going to be thrown in, in, in your way.